How's it going everyone? It's Josh Elbow and in today's video, in the video today, I'm gonna be going over some stuff I went over in a phone conversation. The premise of it's gonna be how to set, like how to, how to structure a nannying service through creating a Facebook page, how to do the CRM on that, how to get the clientele in there, how to charge dollar amounts, depending on what the goals are on the revenue side, and then how to scale that up. So here you go, Kendall. So I just ran the numbers up. The premise for the structure of the group is gonna be if you want, if you like, like the idea and all. Create a Facebook group, it's gonna be a private Facebook group that involves both the people that do the babysitting as well as the people that do, that need, need uh, their kids watched. So you have a group of people that you already babysit for, let's say you do five to eight hours a day, and you have friends that already do babysitting for other people, let's say they do five to eight hours a day, and then depending on like the schedule of, like let's say maybe you have work that you have to go to or they have to have, have work that you need to go to, the reason, like the demand side of this comes from the parents, like we had, like we talked about on the phone, the parents need someone, like let's say if you're busy and you can't babysit, the parents still need someone to watch their kids, so they don't want need, they don't want to be scrambling around to find someone to do it. So you add them to a private Facebook group and you add all the nannies to a private Facebook group. You can list the, the rates in there, but the, the majority of the entire purpose of it is for the parents to be able to post in the group and say, hey, I need a nanny from these hours to these hours, whether it's a consistent thing. I don't, I wouldn't, I would like make a structure and like rules in place in like a contract whenever, when the people that do the actual babysitting um, sign up and they like, when you go to your friends and say, hey, I got a way that you can make more money, um, come do babysitting with me, like join my group. And this, these are the rules of it. When you set up the contract and the rules for, for everybody, all the, the nannies in the group, I would set up something to the effect of you're not allowed to take other people, like you can't privately message or like a no, not no compete, but like something to like a, like some type of clause like that that says you can't go and reach out to the other people, the other parents that the other people in the group are already babysitting and like take clients in essence. So if you go to your friend and say, hey, join the group and then they try and take people that you're already watching, like set up a, a contract in place so that they can't do that. But if that's in place, it, the demand side, it creates the, the parents that need someone to a sitter to watch their kids when you aren't available, they can just post in the group and then it'll be private. So it'll only be people that you've already, um, it'll only be nannies that you already talked to that you know are good for it. Like, from a HR perspective, you're not HR. Yeah, from like, a, like you've already interviewed them, you've taken care of them, you, you make sure they're clear due to the background checks and all that stuff. But then on the parent side, if you can sell them on the fact that if they need somebody, instead of having to run around and try and find somebody last second, like a neighbor or a family member, or relative or whatever, they can just post in the group, hey, I need someone from these or these hours. And then on a first come first serve basis in the group itself, the people who want to accept the job can respond on there. So then the dollar structure, right now I have it calculated out so you'll make anywhere from like one to 2,000 a month, but it would be passive for you. So this is not including the time that you had to do the nannying yourself. You could still work your job full time. It would just be creating the structure in place and then managing it, let's say an hour or two a day, making sure that everybody's happy, dealing with not customer complaints, but any, like any concerns as well as other people and making sure everybody gets paid. And then the payment system could just be automatic setup. You could do, you could hold an escrow account on your side. I didn't even think about this yet. You could do an escrow account on your side or they could pay you, like the the, uh, the parents could pay you, your LLC, your business through PayPal or wherever you wanna charge, they could Venmo it to you and then you could send, take your portion and then send it to the babysitters themselves so they wouldn't be getting paid cash but you would have to 1099 them anyway because it's because of the amount that they're potentially be making. But let's say for, for small starters, you had 20 babysitters and 30 families that have kids that need their kids babysat. You can charge both ends 15 bucks a month. So you charge your babysitters 15 bucks a month to be in the group because you're creating the supply for them. And then you can also charge the parents 15 bucks a month on a consistent basis. So this is just completely passive income. They just for creating the group and putting them in there that you have, it could all be local people, 30 different parents between 20 people, 20 sitters wouldn't be difficult to do. And these are again, small numbers. So you could always scale this up to like 50 and 50, which would increase, let's say, it would double uh, the number, so you might be doing like two to four thousand a month instead of like one to two. And then I would also have you be taking ten percent of the wages that the, the nannies that do it for you are accumulating, which is why I would have the money go to you and then you deposit to them through ten ninety nine versus them just taking cash and then worrying about becoming a debt collector for the people that are working for you because you don't want to do that. Like if you can control the system, it's better to do that. But the way that this would be set up is let's say so to move back for a second, the twenty babysitters and the thirty parents that you have in this group at fifteen dollars a month would come out to 750 bucks total just to be in the group. So that's just cash in your pocket. You can use that for marketing. You can use 200 of that to file for an LLC and use the other 50, 500 for marketing. Or you can hire somebody to like do this for you so you can outsource the entire group itself. Like 
So that would, but this would be on a monthly basis, 750 bucks coming in at 50. At twice that, so at 50 uh, babysitters and 50 families, and obviously it'd be at uh, 1,500 a month, and this is completely passive, so you could still be making X amount of dollars outside at your normal job, and then you'd still have a, another couple grand coming in, which is maybe, let's say, rent, a car payment, or insurance, or whatever. Passive, like, passive income's the way to go, I promise you. Once you get a taste of it, if you haven't yet, if you have, even more power to you. But once you get a taste, it's, it's so sweet. And then also at the 10% rate, let's say your babysitters are charging 20 bucks an hour, which might be high, which might be low. We can do it at 10 bucks an hour too, and then it would just be half of this. So at 50 people, you already have 750 bucks a month coming in. If you're charging 10% of what they make, let's say, actually, I screwed up on the math on this, so this is gonna be way more than I expected it to be. I totally screwed the math up on this, and this, this makes me way happier. So if you had 20 people doing babysitting for you every single day, let's say, for eight hours a day, 20 people, eight hours a day, charging $15 an hour and doing it every single day of the month, so 30 days a month, that comes out to 72 grand a month in revenue. At 10% of that, that's 7,200 in your pocket, that's at $15 an hour. If you charge 10, if you charge $10 an hour, it'd be 2,400 a month in your pocket, which is at the 10%, not including the 1,500 you're already making, or the, the 750 you're already making on top of that between the parents and the nannies. And then if the nannies were charging 20 bucks an hour, it'd come out to 9,600 a month in your pocket at the 10% rate, your company would be bringing in 96 to grand a month, which is 1.1 million a year, which it wouldn't be bad for your first year. This is again, this is at people doing it full time. This is at 20 people doing eight hours every single day, which might not be realistic. And this is 30 days a month, so every day of the month. But depending on what market you're dealing with, you might be able to negotiate with the nannies that you have working for you because 15 bucks an hour at 30 days a month, eight hours a day is still 3,600 a month which is might be more than they're making a month right now, depending on if they're making more, they might not, it might not be worth it, but 15 bucks an hour for a job, depending on if they're still going through college or if you, even if you get into a younger demographic, it might make sense for them dollar wise to do it. And you'd be making a shit ton obviously too. No matter what, it's all passive. Once you create this system and you're managing the system, you're not doing the labor to get this work. So even if it's, let's say it's only a thousand bucks a month, would you say no to an extra grand a month, which is maybe your rent or your car or half your rent or car payment or whatever it is, let alone at 7,200 bucks a month, or like even if it was five grand a month, if it could supplement your normal income, just doing this at five grand a month, not doing the labor. So this isn't including, if you were doing the nannying yourself, you could add another 3,600 a month on top of that. So now you're making eight grand a month because the five plus the three and a half, and you get to do it on your own time. And then from a CRM side, I'm not sure you would necessarily need to even have like a drip campaign or system set up in place. Um, you could always do like a MailChimp email campaign, which you just go to MailChimp.com, create an account, and they send out automated email emails for you to like your entire subscriber list. And the only purpose I can really see of it is if you were just doing it to add value. So you, you could send them like an analytics chart of what the kids did the week or like create a checklist or something to people that are already clients, but just, just something to create value like studies on parenting, not, not telling them how to parent obviously because everybody's a narcissist, but like studies about like, we've been doing this, this and this and your child's improving this stuff just to make it look like you actually, you, you like what you're doing. At 8,300 a month, that's 100K a year from your Facebook page, from your phone passively. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions on what I meant when I was saying some of the stuff, feel free to just DM me on Instagram at the Josh Elbow or email me at summitsme at gmail.com and I'd be happy to get that answered for you as soon as I possibly can because I've been super busy right now, but I hope this helps. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I'll see everyone next time.